Hey, this is Steve Gill with your daily notes for January 28, 2009. Well, the orgy of spending is underway in Washington, D.C. as Congress gathers and tries to figure a way to bring America back to economic prosperity with all sorts of spending programs, much of which will take place over the next several years. Not sure how spending money two years from now will create an economic stimulus today, but that's for those wizened pros in Washington to figure out. They've also decided to tuck all sorts of little goodies for their friends and neighbors in this supposed economic stimulus package. We've heard about the $100 million that Nancy Pelosi wanted to spend on birth control and other uh uh, projects that were intended to reduce the birth rates in America. Well, the hundred million in birth control has been stripped out after attention was paid to this little tucked in gem in the uh, stimulus package, but 400 million remains to deal with sexually transmitted diseases. Apparently members of Congress are wanting to take care of the people they know best, and that would be the people who are afflicted with chlamydia and HIV and all sorts of other sexually transmitted diseases. 400 million intended for the Centers of Disease Control to deal with these issues. Not sure how it's going to stimulate the economy, but I'm sure it'll make the folks at the CDC feel awfully good. They've been trying to tuck this program into all sorts of spending bills for years, and the stimulus plan is where apparently it may stick. Other little secrets that are hidden in the stimulus package that really don't do much to simulate the economy include the uh, $572 million that the Coast Guard wants to spend on what they're calling acquisition, construction, and improvements. Now, this won't put any more Coast Guard folks out on the boats fighting terrorism on the front shores of America. No, it'll spend money on improving uh, acquisition, construction, and improvements, whatever that may be. But they're touting the fact that it will create 1,235 new jobs. Let's see, $572 million, 1,235 jobs. That comes out to a staggering $460,000 per job. $460,000 per job. $1.5 billion for a carbon capturing contest. The $75 million that's tucked in for a smoking cessation program. These are the kind of nitwit programs that are tucked into what's supposed to be solving nation's economic woes. It was an $800 billion economic stimulus plan, but once they started cutting things out like birth control projects and other idiot plans, it's ballooned to nearly a trillion dollar economic stimulus package. Maybe the Republicans just need to go along with this thing before it continues to grow out of all proportion. We'll talk about it tomorrow on The Steve Gill Show, and you'll get more in the daily notes at gillreport.com.